Denmark has decided to discontinue a fat tax that they implemented about a year ago. Uh, what they did is they started charging $2.70 more per kilo uh, of saturated fat. Okay, so uh, the, the price of butter went up, fatty foods went up, uh, but what they realized was that more and more people were just crossing the border to Germany to get cheap fatty food. Uh, look, uh, that's the problem. When you try to limit something that people want, turns out it's not that great an idea. You know, prohibition didn't really work out. War on drugs didn't really work out. Uh, back when uh, I was younger, in Turkey they had like 88 different things that you couldn't trade with other countries for. Why? Who knows? Some stupid old rules, right? So what would happen? Massive amount of smuggling. And then one day they're like, yeah, that was stupid. Let's make it legal. And that was it. Yeah. <laughs> you know? And it was just that simple. The smugglers became legitimate businessmen, and it is what it is. Now, that doesn't mean you can't have any regulation. It doesn't mean, you know, that you can't do seatbelt laws. You know, some people don't want to put on their seatbelts, but it's okay uh, to pass a law on that because it encourages people in the right direction. So there are some rules that you can play with along the edges. Uh, but if you get too draconian... And what also happened in Denmark that I think is worth noting is there were all of these administrative costs within the food industry and it was a huge headache for them. So I think that they also played a role in convincing, uh, you know, uh, Danish politicians to probably get rid of this. And they were planning on broadening it because, you know, they were just focusing on saturated fats. They also wanted to uh, expand it to sugars. They were going to do a sugar oh, tax as well. So they realized that it just doesn't make any sense. We don't, we don't want to do this. Um, and so I guess we have a case study indicating that this isn't an effective way. And also, obesity is such a complex issue, right? There are so many different contributing factors. So to just blame it on a certain type of food, I think, doesn't really make any sense. The, only 13% of Danes are overweight, or uh -huh. obese, I should be specific. Um, 35 for, for Americans, it's like 88%, right? 35%. We're only talking about obesity, not overweight, okay? 35% okay. uh, of Americans are obese. Damn. Oh, all but right. it's amazing that like the day it's like, oh my God, 13% are obese. We got to implement a fat tax immediately. With the U.S., it's like everyone's super big. What should we do? Mayor Bloomberg wants to ban supersized sodas and everyone panics. <laughs> I know, I hear you. Surprisingly, they're not that fat given all the Danish in the country. <laughs> <laughs>